ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد let's continue with al aqida tahawiya The creed compiled by Abu Ja'far al-Tahawi rahimahullah with the explanation of Shaykh Salih al-Fawzan hafizahullah then last week we had the point or the two points وَأَنَّهُ خَاتَمُ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ وَإِمَامُ الْأَتْقِيَاءِ وَسَيِّدُ الْمُرْسَلِينَ وحبيب رب العالمين وكل دعوة النبوة بعده فغي وهوى We had the point with regard to Allah's Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم that he is the last of the prophets the imam leader of those dutiful to Allah the noblest of the messengers and the beloved one of the Lord of the whole of the creation and every claim to prophethood after him is erroneous and baseless desires and first of all a point that we had some discussion last time with regard we had a list of 10 names that are authentic for Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and amongst them was the name al-muqaffi so there's some discussion amongst us that is it pronounced al-muqaffi with a kasra on the end or al-muqaffa with a fatha on the end then what usually what's usually the hadith is reported by muslim and others and what's usually found and what's mentioned by al-munawi is that it's with kasra al-muqaffi however one of the brothers jazakallahu khairan he found that shaykh al-albani made a point in his abridgment of Ash-Shama'il al-Muhammadiyyah of At-Tirmidhi, this book that Imam At-Tirmidhi did, Ash-Shama'il al-Muhammadiyyah, a book, a, a fine book, that goes through the attributes of Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the matters connected to him, and brings a hadith for each affair. And in that book, which Shaykh al-Albani, rahimahullah, abridged, then he brought the hadith, where it's mentioned, the hadith of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that I am, I am Muhammad and I am Ahmad and within the hadith it's mentioned وَأَنَا الْمُقَفِّي and I am the one who follows on from the earlier prophets coming at the end of them Shaykh al-Albani rahimahullah he said al-muqaffi is with a kasra on the fa al-muqaffi and its meaning is the one who followed on in the footsteps of those who preceded those who preceded him from the prophets and then he he brings an ayah the saying of allah the most high I mean with the, with that meaning ulaika alladhina hada allah fa bi hudahu muqtadih surah al-an'am the sixth surah ayah 90 with the explanation, they are the ones, those earlier prophets are the ones whom Allah has guided. So follow their guidance. And so this name of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa al-Muqaffi, the one who came, followed on from the earlier prophets. Then Shaykh al-Albani said, or also with a fatha on the fa. It can also be pronounced with a fatha at the end, al-Muqaffa. It can be pronounced either way. Both ways are correct. And he said, with that, with a fatha on it, al muqaffa it means the one who was sent to follow on and pursue the tracks of the prophets. And the one through whom messengership was sealed. <coughs> he said, and Allah the Most High said, ثُمَّ قَفَّيْنَا عَلَىٰ آثَارِهِمْ بِرُسُولِنَا Surah Al-Hadid, 57th Surah, Ayah 27. With the explanation 
Then we sent our messengers following their footsteps. I mean, the messengers following the footsteps of the messengers who came before. So either way is correct. Both are correct. Then with regard to questions on what we had last time, who amongst us can remember that the list of ten names which are authentic, as we said, ten names, there can be other names, but we had a list of ten with the evidences. Who can remember the ten names authentic for Allah's Messenger? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Sheikh Al Fawzan, Hafidullah, he mentioned a point. He mentioned a point about the ruling on a person who believes that there is another Prophet after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And what is the ruling of such a person who believes that anyone, that someone else can come along after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and <coughs> claim to be a prophet? What is the ruling on someone who believes that? Sheikh Sheikh Fawzan mentions, as other scholars mention as well, that such a person is a kafir, and the reason for that, that someone who believes there is another prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the reason that that person is a kafir. reason or the proof or no. No. as the, the brother mentioned uh, Allah the Most High mentioned in the Quran that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Khatam al Nabiyin. He's the last of the Prophets. So anyone who comes along and claims the opposite, claims that there is another prophet after him, has denied what Allah the Most High has said. And as the brother, brother just mentioned before that as well, that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself said that I am al-aqib la nabiyya ba'di. I am the last prophet. And in case someone thinks that, well, maybe we can understand al-aqib to mean something different. It can mean just one who follows on, but it doesn't mean he's the last one. Then the actual wording of the hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself said, I'm al-aqib la nabiyya ba'di. I am the last one. There is no prophet after me. So he left no room for doubt in that regard. So one who claims that, then they have denied what Allah said, and they have denied what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. So he is no doubt a kafir for that. Sheikh Fawzan, he also mentioned two other categories of people on the same point, claims of prophethood after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sheikh Fawzan mentioned two other groups of people who are also kafirs in that regard. Who are the other two groups of people? Not just someone who claims that there, or someone who believes there is a prophet after him, but two other groups of people. No. Yeah. The Sheikh mentioned that anyone who has it claimed for him, I mean, he himself might not be brave enough to bring it to, or, or a fool enough to, to say it upon his tongue, so he gets someone else to claim it for him, someone of his followers to claim it for him. So those who claim it, those who have it claimed on their behalf are likewise unbelievers. And as the Sheikh said, and anyone who follows them upon that. Any, any of the followers who follow them upon that. We also had a point that at Tahawi, rahimahullah, he described the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as Habibu Rabbil Alameen, the beloved one of the Lord of the whole of creation. Then Sheikh Al Fawzan, he criticized this phrase here, the, the, describing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the beloved one of the, of the Lord of the whole of creation. 
Why is this point to be criticized? What is wrong with that point, with giving the with calling the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the beloved one of Allah? What what is wrong with that? The Habib of Allah. As the brother mentioned, what's wrong with that is it's a, it's a falling short. It's a falling short of what is due to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. To just say he's a beloved one of Allah, then that's something that's general to all of the all of the, the righteous people. All of the righteous people, all of the people of Taqwa are beloved ones of Allah. So then, if we describe the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as Habibullah, then we've not really given him any, his due right whatsoever. Rather, as the brother said, the highest level what's, what was due for him is the highest level of muhabba, which is al-khulla. He is the especially, especially beloved, especially chosen beloved one of Allah. <coughs> so he was the khalil of Allah. Just as Ibrahim salam was also the khalil of Allah. What if someone objects and says, well, what you say sounds okay, but we have a hadith. We have a hadith reported by Tirmidhi where the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself describes himself as Habibullah, as the beloved one of Allah. So what you're saying might make some sense, but we find it in text that he himself described himself as Habibullah. And what's the answer to that? I mean, as Sheikh Rabani rahimahullah mentioned, that hadith is da'if, hadith is not authentic. It has two weak narrators in its chain of narration. <coughs> and it's not authentic. Then, then to continue with point number 44 then, And Shaykh then uh, at Tahawi, Rahimahullah, he continues with the point that's na- numbered here as point number 44. Wa huwa al-mab'uthu ila aammati al-jinni wa kafati al-wara bil-haqqi wal-huda wa bil-nuri wa-dhiya. And he, he, <coughs> Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is the one Sent to the whole of the jinn and to all of mankind with the truth and the guidance and with light and radiance. Sheikh Al Fawzan said in explanation, he said, Likewise, this is what it is obligatory to hold as our creed and belief with regard to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is not sufficient that we merely believe that he is Rasulullah, Allah's Messenger. It's not sufficient that we only believe that he is Allah's Messenger. Rather, that he is a Messenger to all of mankind, indeed, to the jinn and to mankind. He said, he the most perfect said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةً لِلنَّاسِ بَشِيرًا وَنَذِيرًا Surah Saba, the 34th Surah, Ayah 28. With the explanation, that Allah, Jeh- Allah the Most High addressed His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying with the explanation and we have not sent you as a messenger except to the whole of mankind as a bringer of glad tidings and as a warner. Then Shaykh Al-Fawzan brings a second ayah he said and he also said to him قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ جَمِيعًا Surah Al-A'raf, the seventh surah, ayah 158. With the explanation, Say, 
O mankind, I am the messenger of Allah to all of you. Shaykh al-Fawzan said, So his messengership was to all of mankind. And this was something particular to him. Alayhi salatu was salam. So he was a messenger, a rasul to all of mankind. And obedience to him is obligatory upon the whole of the creation. <coughs> their Arabs and their non-Arabs. <laughs> the black of them and the white of them. Mankind of them and the jinn of them. So everyone whom the call of the messenger alayhi salatu was salam reaches, then it is obligatory upon him to obey him and to follow him. So whoever agrees that he, me, whoever agrees that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah to the Arabs in particular, as is said by a group of the Christians who say that he was indeed the messenger of Allah but to the Arabs in particular. Only to the Arabs they say. And they deny that he was a prophet to anyone else. Then this is kufr. This is unbelief. This is disbelieving in Allah the mighty and majestic. And it is a denial of what Allah the mighty and majestic said. And a denial of his messenger. He said, So Allah said, وَمَا أَرَسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةً لِلنَّاسِ بَشِيرًا وَنَذِيرًا The same ayah, Surah, surah Saba, the 34th Surah, Ayah 28, with the explanation, And we have not sent you except to the whole of mankind as a bringer of glad tidings and as a warner. Then Shaykh Fawzan quotes the second ayah, And he, the one free of all imperfections, said, تبارك الذي نزل الفرقان على عبده ليكون للعالمين نذيرا سورة الفرقان 25th سورة the first ayah with the explanation blessed is the one who sent down the criterion the Quran to his slave to Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم so that he should be a warner to the whole of mankind and jinn. To the whole of mankind and jinn. To al-alameen. As the people of tafsir like al-Tabari and al-Baghawi. And the mufassirin from the Salaf mentioned. Al-alameen here. It means mankind, al-ins and jinn. So to repeat that. that blessed is the one who sent down the criterion, the Quran. Upon his slave. Upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So that he should be a warner to the whole of mankind and jinn. Shaykh al-Fawzan said, so his messengership is universal. I mean, covering the whole of the world to all of mankind and jinn. Then he said, and he, I mean the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he alayhi salatu wa salam said, كان النبي يُبْعَثُ إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ خَاصَّةً وَبُعِثْتُ إِلَىٰ النَّاسِ عَامَّةً Hadith reported by Al-Bukhari as Hadith 335 and Hadith 438 with the wording that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said A Prophet used to be sent to his own people in particular Whereas I have been sent to the whole of mankind. As we said, the hadith reported by Bukhari and also reported by Muslim and Muslim reports it with the wording as they mention here وَبُعِثْتُ إِلَى كُلِّ أَحْمَرٍ وَأَسْوَدٍ In the wording of Muslim and I have been sent to every red person and black person. I mean everyone. And this is from a hadith of Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhumah then Shaykh al-Fawzan continued 
And Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wrote letters. When he said letters, mean letters of invitation to Islam. He said he wrote letters to the kings of the different lands, calling them to Islam. So this shows that he was a messenger sent to the, pe the whole of the people of the earth. I mean, that's why he sent messages to them, because he was a messenger to them. So he sent them letters calling them to Islam. Then he said, and he was commanded with jihad, with fighting jihad, until the people entered into Islam. So this shows that his messengership, alayhi salatu wasalam, was universal. And so it is, it is obligatory to believe that. Then Shaykh al-Fawzan summarized here and said, So it is obligatory with regard to him to, to hold these beliefs. And then he mentions three beliefs that we must hold. We must hold as our creed, our aqidah, our creed and belief with regard to Allah's Messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. أولا أنه عبد الله ورسوله ثانيا أنه خاتم النبيين لا نبي بعده ثالثا أن رسالته عامة للإنس والجن شيخ فوزان said firstly that he صلى الله عليه وسلم is the slave of Allah and his messenger his رسول Secondly, that he is the last of the prophets. There is no prophet after him. And thirdly, that his messengership was universal, covering all of mankind and jinn. So as the Sheikh has made clear here, and in this point and this summary, it's not enough that somebody just affirms, yes, I believe that Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa was indeed a messenger from Allah. That's not sufficient. It's not enough. We have to believe these three points. The first of them that we had last week, that he is the slave of Allah and his messenger. Secondly, we also had last week, that he is the last of the messengers and that there will be no prophet after him. And thirdly, the point that came today, that his messengership was universal. Covering all of mankind and all of jinn. I mean, it's not particular to one. It's not just. He wasn't sent just to his own people. He wasn't sent just to the Arabs or so on. Then Sheikh Al Fawzan continued and said, "And the proof that his messengership was universal to all of mankind is the ayahs which have preceded. I mean, the ayahs we've had in this chapter." Surah Saba, 34, Ayah 28. Surah Al-A'raf, the 7th Surah, Ayah 158. And Surah Al-Furqan, the 25th Surah, Ayah 1. All of those are proofs that his messengership covered all of mankind. And he said, And also the fact that he, the fact that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wrote the letters. I mean, the fact that he wrote the letters to the kings whom he could reach. The kings of the different lands. He sent them letters calling them to Islam. Then Shaykh al-Fawzan said, and as for his messengership being universal to the whole of the jinn, then in accordance with the saying of Allah the Most High, وَإِذْ صَرَفْنَا إِلَيْكَ نَفَرًا مِنَ الْجِنِّ يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْقُرْآنَ فَلَمَّا حَضَرُوهُ قَالُوا, قالوا أَمْسِتُوا فَلَمَّا قُضِيَ وَلَّوْا إِلَى قَوْمِهِمْ مُنْذِرِينَ قالوا يا قومنا إنا سمعنا كتابا أنزل من بعد موسى مصدقا لما بين يديه يهدي إلى الحق وإلى وإلى طريق مستقيم يا قومنا أجيب داعي الله سورة الأحقاف the forty six سورة twenty nine to thirty one with the explanation and remember when we sent out when we sent a group of the jinn to you who listened to the Qur'an. So when they attended it, they said to each other, be silent in order to listen. So when he, sallallahu alayhi wa finished reciting, 
they, the jinn, went back to their people as warners of Allah's punishment upon those who disbelieve. They said, O oh, our people, we have heard a book sent down after the book of Musa, confirming the books which came before it. It guides to the truth and to the straight path. O oh, our people, respond to the messenger of Allah who calls you to obedience to Allah. Shaykh Fawzan said, meaning Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam. In the one who was meant in these ayahs that the jinn listened to and who went, they went back to their people and told them of was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Shaykh Al-Fawzan quotes a second ayah proving that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent also to the jinn. He said, And in the saying of Allah the Most High, قُلْ, قُلْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيَّ أَنَّهُ اسْتَمَعَ نَفَرٌ مِّنَ الْجِنِّ فَقَالُوا إِنَّا سَمِعْنَا قُرْآنًا عَجَبًا يَهْدِي إِلَى الرُّشْدِ فَآمَنَّا بِهِ Surah Al-Jinn, the, the 72nd Surah, Ayahs 1 and 2. With the explanation, Say, it has been revealed to me that a group of the jinn listened and said, We have heard an amazing Qur'an. It guides to right guidance, so we have believed in it. Shaykh al-Fawzan said, So this proves that his messengership covered the jinn. So the Prophet ﷺ was sent to all of the people of the earth. Mankind of them and the jinn of them. So whoever truly believes, whoever has iman in him, then he will enter paradise. And whoever does not have Iman in him, whoever does not truly believe in him, will enter the fire, whether it be from mankind or from the jinn. Then he said, commenting upon the last phrase brought by Tahawi, that he was sent, bin nuri wa that he was sent with light and with radiance. Sheikh Fawzan said, these two words have the same meaning. You know, a nur and dhiya, light and radiance, they're one and the same thing. He said, and the Prophet wasallam was sent with each of these, with light and with radiance. He said, Allah the Most High said, Ya ayyuhan nabiyu inna arsalnaka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadhira wa da'i'an ila Allahi bi'idhnihi wa sirajan munira. Surah Al-Ahzab the 33rd surah, ayahs 44, or rather ayahs 45 and 46, with the explanation, O Prophet, we have sent you as a witness and as a bringer of good tidings and as a warner and as a caller to Allah by his permission and as a shining lamp. And that's where Sheikh Al-Fawzan ends explanation upon that point. And Sheikh Al-Albani, Rahimahullah, he just makes a small point here, which is, obviously last week we had the point with regard to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being the last of the Prophets. And as Sheikh Al-Fawzan mentions, and lately, in the, in the last century, there came a group din, who denied this point and who claimed prophethood for some person in their land, the Qadianis. And as we heard, uh, Shaykh al Fawzan mentions this group, the Qadianis, those who claim there was a prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then they are, they are unbelievers. By agreement of the Muslims, they are unbelievers, kuffar. So this week, Shaykh al Albani makes a point Again, connected to them with regard to the point about the jinn. That he was sent, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was sent to all of the jinn as well as mankind. Shaykh al-Albani said, I say, and from the misguidance of the Qadianis, 
I mean, in addition to their, disbel- to their claiming there's another prophet after, Mu- after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the rest of their misguidance, then added to that misguidance, he said, and from the misguidance of the Qadianis is their denying the jinn. But they deny the jinn as being a separate creation to humans. And they twist the meaning of all the ayahs and the ahadith, which clearly state the existence of the jinn and which state that they are different to mankind in creation. So they twist their meaning and instead they give the understanding that the jinn are actually mankind themselves. So that's what the, these Qadianis say. They say the, or every reference to the jinn, then it's a reference to mankind. Or a particular group of mankind. Even they say Iblis. They say he was an evil person. فَمَا أَضَلَّهُمْ Shaykh Al-Bani said, فَمَا أَضَلَّهُمْ How misguided these people are. So that's just another point of misguidance of the Qadianis that they believe there is a Prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And another thing they do related to what we had this week is they deny the jinn as well. Then, as for some homework, since these days we seem to have homework, then, uh, then a point that Sheikh Al-Fawzan, of course he mentioned last, last week in the text, in, in his explanation, that Sheikh Al-Fawzan, Hafizullah, he said, وَتَأَرُّفْ عَلَى الرَّسُولِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وسلم مِنْ وَاجِبَاتِ مِنْ وَاجِبَاتِ الدِّينِ وَمِنْ أُصُولِ الْإِسْلَامِ as, as he mentioned, that acquiring awareness and knowledge about the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is from the obligations of the religion and it's from the fundamentals of Islam. So no doubt this is upon us that we learn what we are able to do about the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and about his life and about what he experienced and about all about him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and about his seerah. Then from that is something that we can give us homework at this state at this point which is the lineage, something important, which is the lineage of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Something that should be easy for us to learn, inshallah, the, something important. And obviously the, uh, the Arabs, even before Islam, gave importance to lineage. And after the coming of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, then likewise, this was stressed, in the, this was something stressed, preserving lineage. And of course, the most important lineage is that of Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So here, we'll just have the, the list of the lineage of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And whoever wants to get hold of this, whoever's writing it down is able to write the names down, then well and good. And whoever wants to get hold of this list, then the list will be somehow available, inshallah, as well. So he was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ibn, obviously when we say Ibn, means the son of, the son of, the son of, like that. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ibn Abdullah. Ibn Abdul Muttalib. Ibn Hashim. Ibn Abd Manaf Ibn Qusay Ibn Kilab Ibn Murrah Ibn Ka'ab Ibn Lu'ay Ibn Ghalib Ibn Fihr Ibn Malik, Ibn al nadr Ibn Kinana, Ibn Khuzayma, Ibn Mudrika, Ibn Ilyas, Ibn Mudar, Ibn Nizar, 
Ibn Ma'ad, Ibn Adnan. Just quickly to repeat that, it's in the English, in the English fashion that he was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa the son of Abdullah, the son of Abdul Muttalib. And Abdul Muttalib was a title. And his name was Shaybatul Hamd. So Abdul Muttalib, he was a title. And his name, the name of Abdul Muttalib was Shaybatul Hamd, who was the son of Hashim. And Hashim was a title, and his name was Amr. Hashim, the son of Abd Manaf, the son of Qusay. And again, Qusay was a title, and his name was Zayd. And Qusay, he was the son of Kilab, the son of Murrah, the son of Ka'ab, the son of Lu'ay, the son of Ghalib, the son of Fihr, the son of Malik, the son of Anadr, the son of Kinana, the son of Khuzayma, the son of Mudrika, and again Mudrika was a title, or is it yeah, a title, and his name was Amr, the son of Ilyas, the son of Mudar, the son of Nizar, the son of Ma'ad, the son of Adnan. And this list is taken from the Sirah, the abridged Sirah of Ibn Kathir. And as one of the brothers mentioned, that the Muhaddith of Medina, Shaykh Hamad al Ansari, Rahimahullah, he used to recommend that with regard to Sirah, that people study the books especially. Not to restrict that, that, but especially the best books in Sirah are the books of Ibn Kathir. He wrote some different works about the Sirah of Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So from the most authentic works of Sirah, and from the best of them, are the works of Al-Hafidh, Ibn Kathir. So he wrote a larger book in his Bidayah in Nihaya. He wrote a Sirah, a Sirah of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he also wrote an abridged Sirah, Al-Fusul fi Sirat al-Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this lineage is taken from there, from Al-Fasul of Ibn Kathir. And with regard to the lineage you just heard, this lineage, Imam al nawawi said, in Tahdeeb al-Asma wal-Lughat, he said, this lineage here, the same one, there is consensus of the Ummah upon these names here. Consensus, ijma of the Ummah upon these names. And likewise, Al-Bukhari, he brings these names in his book, in his in a chapter heading, he brings the lineage of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with these same names here. So this is by ijma, by consensus, this is preserved the lineage of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam back to Adnan. Then, with regard to the lineage after Adnan, then there are different different sayings from some some of the, some of the scholars. They withhold it. Adnan, they stop and say we don't know the lineage any further than that. Meaning, in detail, with each name, we don't know. Some others, they mention different names, and they end up with different lists, with different numbers of names in the lists, and different names in the lists. And the verifiers from the scholars, they say that after Adnan, it's not, the lineage is not authentic. I mean, the, the names after Ad, the father of Adnan and his father and his father, it's not authentic. It's no authentic report. All that we know after Adnan is that Adnan was a descendant of Ismail alayhi salam who was the son of Ibrahim alayhi salam that's all you know the Adnan was somewhere was some great 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 descendant or whatever wherever it, how many how many how many down the line he was we don't know but he was a descendant of Ismail alayhi salam the prophet of the messenger of Allah who was the son of Ibrahim the messenger of Allah alayhi salam who was obviously the son of Azar and then beyond that, we don't know. There are how many names after that, we don't know. And what they were, we don't know. Except that Ibrahim salam was a descendant of Nuh salam. The Messenger of Allah, Nuh salam, And that we know, again, that Nuh salam was a descendant. And we don't know how many, how many names in between or what they are. <laughs> but we know he was a descendant of Adam, of Adam salam. Obviously, everyone, all of us, everyone sitting here, then we, as we know, if anyone asks you what's your, what's your lineage, then you might say, 
I'm not sure about in between, but I know my lineage goes back to Nuh alayhi salam because everyone upon the earth, their lineage comes from Nuh alayhi salam, who was a descendant of Adam alayhi salam. Obviously, Adam alayhi salam and Hawa, the mother and the father of all of mankind. And likewise, Nuh alayhi salam was the father of all the survivors from mankind. For anyone who has not descended from Nuh at his time, they were, they were drowned in the flood. Anyone else was drowned in the flood. The only ones who remained were descendants of Nuh alayhi salam. So if we can have whoever can memorize this, this list of names by next time, inshallah. And there's a brother just making a, making some copies, inshallah. I hope the sisters will get some copies maybe as well, inshallah. Yeah, there's a nod there, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, sallallahu ala Muhammad. Any points of clarification? Al-Bani. Sheikh Albani said with regard to Qadiyanis in his notes to Abu Tahawiyah. But Sheikh Albani, obviously what's famous, what's well known about Sheikh Albani is that he did notes to the explanation of Abu Tahawiyah. Sharh al aqid at Tahawiyah. Sheikh Albani did, check, did a checking of that Sharh, a checking of the Ahadith in that Sharh. But Sheikh Albani, Rahimullah, he also did as an a, a abridged explanation of the text as well. Al Aqida at Tahawiyah. He also did that. And what someone has done, they've gathered together the notes of Sheikh bin Baz, Rahimahullah, or rather gathered, as we mentioned before, the notes of Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Aziz ibn Mani, Rahimahullah, and the notes of Sheikh bin Baz, Rahimahullah, and the notes of Sheikh al Albani, Rahimahullah, to the text. They gathered them together, and some brother, one of the brothers printed it off the internet. So you can get that actually. It's just brief notes to the, you know, brief, brief notes of correction or small points on the text. And get hold of that, inshallah. Print it off or something. Ask Musaf. Where is Musaf? That's the name. It's qu- it's entitled Ta'liqat al Athariya and Al Aqid al Tahawiya li A'immat al Da'wa al Salafiya. There is a book, the brother just asked a question, is there a book connected to the seerah of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam entitled Ash-Shifa? Then no doubt there is, Al-Qadi Iyad, he wrote a book called Ash-Shifa, a seerah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this book has been criticized by some of the people of knowledge, such as Imam al-Dhahabi. They mentioned it's a fine book, means it's got a lot of things in there. However, he's filled it with many unauthentic and weak or baseless reports. So he's filled it out with a lot of reports that are not authentic and, and things that shouldn't be put in that book. No. So it's better it's better if you can get hold of the works of Al Hafiz ibn Kathir. Yeah. Now what they say what uh, Sheikh Albani mentioned the Qadianis believe they said that when they come to the matter about the jinn, they say either it's one and the same, mankind, one and the same. Or it's this particular group. What that group is, Allahu Alam, it doesn't really concern us, but they could say a particular group from mankind. Probably the, their own group. In, but I don't think they say that. Of course, it's, 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 it's not correct anyway. It's a, to, it's a false saying of theirs anyway. And they say even Iblis... They claim that he even is just a, a bad person, basically, Iblis. Obviously, Iblis was from the jinn. 
كان من الجن ففسق عن عمر ففسق عن عمر ربي كلي اي ذا قران ابليس هي فروم ذا جن اند هي ديسوبيد ذا كوماند اوف هيز لورد سو ات دزنت سيم تو كونسيرن ذيم ذات ذي غوين اغينست واتس كلير ان ذا قران دزنت كونسيرن ذيم ات اول As for books in Sira, then it's uh, it's better that you, we we try and uh, try and stick to the authentic works of Sira, inshallah. And hope that the works of Imam Kathir come out in English, inshallah, sometime in Sira. لكن هو صحح الحديث في صحيح السيرة لمن كثير صح أو حس صح أو حسن في صحيح السيرة تحقيق هي السيرة لمن كثير صفحة واحد وثمانون ذكر الحديث حديث حديث أوف بن مالك العشجائي حديث طويل حديث طويل وقال فيه هو على شرط مسلم على شرط مسلم لأن الشيخ الباني صح يعني حقق جزءا من كتاب ابن كثير في ذلك في صفحة واحد وثمانون صح هذا الحديث وفيه أنا النبي المصطفى I am, the cho- I am the chosen Prophet. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when the Jews refused to believe in him, that he said, you have lied. And he mentioned that I am, I am the Messenger of Allah. And I am the chosen Prophet. I am Nabi al-Mustafa. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك just just a small point there's the brothers just giving out these the list of the lineage of Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in case you wonder what all these all these names at the side are then on the page you're receiving It's got the Arabic names on the left-hand side. In the middle, the names of the forefathers of Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On the right-hand side, at each level, is a list of brothers. A list of brothers or sisters of each one. So see, on the right, it says Abdullah. The father of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was called Abdullah. Then it says after him, Al-Harith, Al-Zubair, Hamza, Abu Talib. I mean, all these people, people are his brothers and sisters. The brothers and sisters of Abdullah. Then further down we see Hashim. On the right of that, Al-Muttalib, Abd Shams, Nawfal. I mean those three were brothers of Hashim. And so on all the way down. The names on the right there in small letters, they are brothers or sisters of the one named at the left of it. Subhanakallah.